uh, hello good morning class uh, we are doing chapter number two work energy and power and we are doing unit B different forms of energy and you all know that in the last class we have done numericals based on different forms of energy uh, that is kinetic energy and potential energy we have been using two relations that is uh, kinetic energy is equals to half mv square and uh, potential energy is equals to mgh so based on them we have done uh, five sums in the last session uh, today we are going to do four sums okay uh, which are uh, quite different from uh, one another and uh, the rest of the numbers you can try yourself okay and as usual i'll be giving you uh, an assignment to do okay so try it and send me in the uh, evening all right so uh, without much delay let's begin with question number 15 so i've taken today uh, the first question as question number 15 okay this question is based on kinetic energy all right so let's read the question uh, okay the question says a ball of mass 0 0.5 kilogram slows down from a speed of 5 meter per second okay to that of 3 meter per second so it means that there is a change in the speed that is velocity is changing here from 5 meter to 3 meter calculate the change in kinetic energy of the ball so we need to calculate the change in kinetic energy so when you know the speed is 5 meter per second okay the kinetic energy will be more as compared to the speed of the ball when its speed is um, 3 meter per second so you all know the relation to find kinetic energy is half mv square so we are going to use that relation okay so the relation uh, i taught you in the last classes is half kinetic energy is equals to half mv square so this is the formula or you can call it as a relation which we are going to use in this particular equation all right so you all know i have been always talking about the four rules that you must follow whenever you are doing the numericals right so rule number one to jot down the information given in the uh, question under the heading given so under the heading given i will write the uh, <coughs> given quantities first quantity given is mass i am represent representing it with m so m equals to 0 0.5 kilogram then there are two speeds which i will um, denote it by v1 okay v1 as 5 meter per second and v2 as 3 meter per second so i have two speeds here so now i need to compare the units rule number two compare the units so here kilogram is the si unit of mass meter per second is the si unit of mass uh, sorry uh, speed and velocity and here also i have the speed uh, unit is uh, meter per second so all the units are in the same system so no need to change anything here so rule number two is over now rule number three use the best relation the best relation that we are supposed to use here is half mv square isn't it so initially initial uh, speed is 5 meter per second so i'll first calculate the initial kinetic energy so initial okay kinetic energy equals to half mv1 square so that gives me half mass is 0 0.5 into v1 is 5 whole square so when i calculate this okay i will get 0 0.5 into 25 okay divided by 2 all right so when i uh, do this multiply this and divide by 2 i will be getting 6.25 joule so this was the initial kinetic energy of the ball when its speed was 5 meter per second now let's see what happens to the speed when it's uh, uh, speed changes to 3 meter per second okay so that will become our final kinetic energy so final kinetic energy okay final kinetic energy equals to half mv square you will be using the same relation all right so the same relation which follows here is half okay equals to half m now here we'll have v2 okay whole square so i'm going to get half into the mass remains same mass of the ball is 0 0.5 kilogram okay and multiplied by the new speed here is 3 so 3 square so i get 0 0.5 into 9 divided by 
2. So when I multiply this and divide by 2, I will be getting 2.25 Joule. So this is the final kinetic energy. Alright. So now I got the final kinetic energy. Okay. So let's see the change in kinetic energy. So change in kinetic okay kinetic energy okay equals to uh, final uh, kinetic energy okay final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that gives me 2.25 okay minus what is the final kinetic energy 6.25 5 that gives me minus 4 joule so here i am getting the energy in terms of minus okay now why we have minus here just to indicate that this is decrease in kinetic energy so, so mathematically it has no role okay you minus the just so gone like material that it is a decrease in kinetic energy kinetic energy they got it so all right so this is how we will do question number uh, 15 now, as you see here, okay, question number 16, I have written as assignment. So, you will do it by yourself. Try it, okay, and send me by 5. By 5. When I say by 5, it should reach me before 5, not after 5. All right. So, now let's move to the next question. The next question that we are doing today is question number 17. Question number 17. Now, here, okay, let's read the question. A body <coughs> of mass... 10 kilogram is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second. See, two information are given here. If the mass of the body is doubled, condition is there. Mass is doubled. 10 kilo, 10 kilo was there. Now it has been doubled means it will be now become 20 kilogram. And its velocity is half. Initially the velocity was 20 meter per second. Now it is half means it will be half of 20 that is 10 meter per second. The Now we have to find the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy it is somewhat very very similar to question number 15 okay but why i am doing this here because this question has a bit uh, a different approach that is the question is okay not giving you the information directly but it is giving you indirectly in terms of this word double okay here you have a double what is double mass is double and here what is half velocity is half so this is these are the things that you must uh, see whenever you are reading the question okay so initial that is poilako kinetic energy this kinetic energy okay he will be uh, using this initial 10 kilogram and 20 kilo uh, 20 meter per second square second 20 meter per second to find find initial kinetic energy but when you are finding this final kinetic energy this kinetic energy has to be found out calculated when the mass is doubled and when the velocity is half all right so let's follow the rule so we'll write given under the heading given you'll write the mass okay mass equals to 10 kilogram that is given in the question now i will write this as m1 because this mass is being doubled in the second uh, sentence of the question the mass is doubled isn't it so that i'll be writing in terms uh, in the form of m2 and the velocity given here okay velocity given here is 20 meter per second all right now let's read the second sentence again so when we read the second sentence we get here that if the mass of the bottle uh, body is doubled so mass is doubled so that means m2 will now become 20 kilogram okay 20 kilogram and velocity okay is halved isn't it velocity the adiu this so when velocity is half 20 meter per second will now become 10 meter per second all right so this is what we get or the information that we get we are writing here all right then uh rule number two says to compare the units so let's compare the units when you compare the units you see that it's mass it's kilogram fine velocity it is meter per second again mass is kilogram velocity is meter per second so all the units are in si system so no need to change anything here all right so rule number two is over now rule number three use the best relation so let's use the best relation for number one we are asked to find initial kinetic energy so initial 
kinetic energy equals to half m1 v1 square okay half m1 v1 square okay because we have to use initial mass and initial velocity okay this one you, you can add here one more thing here initial okay initial mass initial velocity then here you can write final mass and then here you can write final velocity this is just to make you understand when you are doing the sums or revising the sums later okay so now let's put the values you'll get half into mass here is 10 multiplied by velocity is 20 that becomes 20 square so i'm going to get 10 into 400 okay divided by 2 so 2 gets cancelled you can cancel 10 or 400 by 2 and after cancellation how much do you get you get 2000 joule all right so this is your number one after this you have to write this statement don't forget that and now we have to do number two number two is final kinetic energy that is half m to v to whole square so here how much i get i get one by two into 20 into velocity the new velocity is 10 so 10 is square so i get 20 into 10 10 square which gives you 100 okay divided by 2 which gives you 1000 joule so you got 1000 joule here so this is our solution okay after this don't forget to write the statement so when the mass is double and when the uh, velocity is half we get the kinetic energy as 1000 joule all right so we get 1000 joule okay so now let's move to the next question the next question that we are going to do today is question number 19 question number 19 okay so in between you can just pause the video and copy down the things okay and again review it if you are uh, getting confused somewhere and if you, if your doubts are not clear you can always ask me as usual okay as you, you used to ask me you can ask me anytime okay now let's begin question number 19 the next question that we are going today going to do today is question number 19 question number 19 let's read the question a body of mass 60 kilogram has the momentum 3000 kilo me, uh, gram meter per second so two things are given here one is mass one is momentum okay calculate the kinetic energy number one and number two calculate the speed of the body so it's a bit different type of question here you are asked to find kinetic energy but the two information given here is mass and momentum so let's write under the heading given this is rule number one mass m equals to sorry 60 no, it's not 50 60 kilogram and momentum is how much three thousand kilogram meter per second so these two informations are given and you are asked to find the kinetic energy all right so let's find the kinetic energy now before that let's don't forget rule number two compare the units unit of mass is kilogram in si system unit of momentum is kilogram per meter second in si system so both of them are in si so no need to convert anything here all right so rule number two gets over rule number three use the best relation Usually we know that kinetic energy, okay, kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv square, k okay, equals to half mv square. But here mass is given but velocity is not given here. In place of velocity, momentum is given there. So you need to think properly here. You cannot use or you will not be getting to the solution, reaching to the solution if you use half mv square because you don't have velocity here in the question. So you have to use a best relation that is, okay, number a the solution for number a is kinetic energy you must remember this formula i've taught you this formula when i was teaching you the relationship between kinetic energy and momentum there we compare kinetic energy and momentum and we have got this formula momentum is square equals to twice of mass so this will be the relation by, with the help of which we can find kinetic energy now put the values momentum is 3000 so i'll have 3000 square okay divided by 2 into mass is 60 i'll get 2 into 60 so here what do i get i have to multiply 3000 twice so 3000 into 3000 divided by 120 so when i multiply them okay 
after cancellation 0 and 0 gets cancelled you can just cancel it by yourself okay or if i have to cancel then it will give you 300 or 300 3 4 za. okay this 4 will cancel this 100 by 25 so 25 into 3 is 75 and how many zeros are there three zeros are left here one two three okay i'll get 75,000 joules it's just a simple multiplication and i hope you all will be able to understand how i multiplied here all right so we got 75,000 joule as the kinetic energy and rule number four obviously you have to write the statement okay but we have not uh, finished this sum we have the second part of the sum that is number two find the speed of the body we have to find the speed of the body that is velocity all, all right so number b okay uh, number b says to you to find velocity so we will you be using this relation we can use kinetic energy's relation also uh, but here momentum's energy uh, momentum's formula will be easier so we know that uh, momentum equals to mass into velocity you know this relation isn't it so what is the momentum given here in the question that is 3000 equals to what is the mass 60 okay and what is the velocity we do not know so that becomes v or v equals to 3000 divided by 60 0 0 gets cancelled 6 1 the 6 6 5 the 30 and 0 i will get 50 now since this is the velocity i'll have the unit meter per second all right so this is your solution for number b and here don't forget to write the statement rule number four all right so our question number 19 is over very simple very easy and even if you have any issues here confusion here you can always ask me all right or you can re-watch how i've done the calculations and using the best relations so relations are that uh, which which uh, you, you you all usually say formulas you know so this has to be uh, well prepared if you do not know the relations and the formulas you will not be able to solve any of the sums here so you must know all the relations that i've taught you in the earlier classes properly and by heart else numericals will be very very difficult for you all all right clear and i have said you in physics physics out of 80 in the icc 80 maxima you will get 45 max coach numericals so please practice numericals properly okay i'm not doing all the sums here because i do not have uh, time to solve all the sums for you all okay but, but i'm doing the sums which are quite different which are which are um, unique one okay so that with the help of this you can do the other sums all right so now let's go to the last question for today today's last question will be question number 22 okay question number 22 from your book it says okay there is a bullet you know what is a bullet isn't it there is a bullet of mass 50 gram is moving with a velocity 500 meter per second it penetrates it is penetrating the target okay 10 centimeter and comes to rest calculate the kinetic energy possessed by the bullet and the average retarding force retarding force means you have to find force here and here you have to find kinetic energy so two questions are asked here okay so let's write the information under the heading given given mass of the bullet m is 500 grams okay it's moving with velocity so i'll have initial velocity it is 500 meter per second it penetrates that is displacement of the bullet is 10 centimeter 10 centimeter guard in this target ma, and comes to rest so when it comes to rest its final velocity will become zero all right so now we are asked to find the kinetic energy all right and retarding force now before we proceed to the next step you have to follow rule number two rule number two is very very important as i am saying you time and again compare the units now here you have grams you know grams is a cgs unit of mass meter per second is the si unit of uh, velocity or speed and centimeter is the si unit of a uh, cgs unit of distance so here the units are not in the same order they are not in the same system so you have to now follow rule number two here strictly that is to convert and bring all the units in the same system so 500 gram when you divide by 1000 that makes your kilo gram so that you will get as how much zero point okay zero five kg so this will be your mass centimeter is the cgs unit of distance or the length 
Now convert that into SI by dividing it with 100, that is, meet, that no, now it becomes meter. So that is 1 by 10, 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 meter. So now here, okay, you have kilogram, you have meter per second, and you have meter, means all the units are now in same system. Now we can approach to the question number A. Question number A, kinetic energy, you know, okay, uh, we... No. So now we are moving to rule number three. Kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv square. So now put the values. Half mass is 0 0.05 into velocity here is how much? 500. So 500 whole square. So now this gives you how much? 0 0.05 into 500 into 500. Okay. Divided by is that clear okay so now let me move a bit up so that i will have a space to do the sum okay so now i have this space here let's do the solve solve let's solve the sum here so now when you multiply 0 0.05 into 500 you will get 5 5 just 25 okay so 25 okay into 500 divided by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2, 250 is 500, so you'll get 25 into 25 is 625, and you have 1 0 here, so 0, that gives you Joule. So, so why did I write Joule? Because this is kinetic energy, and the SI unit of energy is Joule, so I'll get 6250 Joule as the kinetic energy of the bullet when it is penetrating the target. So, rule number 4, write the statement here, alright. Now let's go to the uh, other question. Question number B is there, isn't it? Question number B is there. Question number B. What does the question number B is telling us? Question number B says to find the retarding force. We are asked to find the retarding force. So work done. Okay. You know that. Um, question number B. You know that F equals W sorry W equals to F into S. We have done this in the earlier unit of the chapter, isn't it? So from here I am to find F. So F will be W by S. So what is W here? That is the energy that you are spending. That is six thousand two hundred and fifty divided by what is the uh, distance covered by the bullet? Zero point one, isn't it? Zero point one. So this gives me six two five zero into 10 when I remove this decimal divided by 1 which in turn okay I'm going to do here which in turn gives me 6 to 5 double 0 Newton so here 6 to 5 into 6 to 5 into 10 will give me 62,500 Newton as the retarding force that is offered by the target or you can call it as res resistive force so now you write the statement here all right so you saw four different types of sums today okay they are all done or has to be done in a different way the rest of the sums that you have in the exercise are very very much similar to the this numericals that i've done for you all today so now your homework as i've given mentioned you in the earlier okay uh, you do it and send it me by 5 p.m in the evening okay that's all for today all right, practice more so that you become a master of this numericals. All right, so that's all for today. Thank you.